Hello and welcome to the next episode of Banner Saga 2 with me, Windslayer. It's been about a day since I uh, played the campaign, but I did go in here and train up some of my heroes, some of my favorite ones. I've been playing around with the, the Horseborn, which I am a giant fan of. They are very fun to play with. I, I like Satchak quite a bit for, you know, I think obvious reasons. He's a cool dude. He's a nice guy. Pretty trustworthy guy, from what I can tell. So, um, he's got a good amount of kills. Eagle does too. Just so, like, I don't have to train them up in the next one when I want to use them. Ned always had a lot of kills. Her and Alette typically finish off a lot of the fights for me. I would like to get the Golden Bridle on Eagle. I think he would be a good character to put on. Either that or Alette. I'm not sure yet. Let's see what we can get away with. I have a feeling that I I can get equal to level ten, but Gerrother's Godstone is in the shadows ahead. His guidance would be a welcome gift. I'm just remembering that I need a post on Twitter, but I'll do that after the Godstone. The site of Greder's Godstone in the corner of the Old Wood surprises almost everyone. The Eastway Road surely minimizes the Godstone's visitors, allowing lichens and ivies to encase it still. The surrounding areas appear accommodating, except for the rather new and impassable rift in the ground just beyond the the stone and already your clansmen are slothing off their packs let's inspect the stone known as the god of the of wise counsel and direction Greder is accredited with all types of discoveries and good decisions you pull away lads large strands of ivy aleo reads aloud the tales and and the tale inscribed i'll read this in just a second i'm just this is a bit loud in my ear i have to turn down the, the volume a tiny bit it looks like i'm coming through a lot louder in uh, the desktop audio so you guys should be able to hear me just fine but it's just it's hard for me to think straight with it so loud a young man came here eight times in eight days, seeking counsel on the matter of a young woman who had pricked his heart. On the eighth of these days, when the young man's voice had become hard with the weight of his unanswered prayers, Greta cried aloud, saying to him, She is not at my stone, fool boy. She lives where you live, sleeps where you sleep. You cannot love a man who is not there. As you think about the story, you discover a small nook in the stone. Inside is a lock of red hair tied with sewn cloth. Brenna's lock. The clansmen go about their rituals with the uh, godstone and are soon ready to move on. But up ahead, others have decided to make camp. You stifle a yawn, but look forward to some rest. Yay. And we got a little bit of renown for that. That's pretty good, I guess, right? Not terrible. P 
people seem like they're pretty happy. One of my heroes is hurt. I think it's Ivor. Sorry, Ivor. We're gonna... Oh, we can't leave here. We need to rest. Okay. Before you settle down to rest, Ivan beckons to you. Have you memorized the basic threads of mending yet? I think so. It's hard to find time to practice, though. It feels like someone's always need always needs something. The mender nods and watches you silently. Are you going to show me more? Part of weaving is knowing what patterns you're looking to create before you ever begin. Right, so I went to mend a wound like you did with Ivor's arm. The mender smiles. And I went to use a bow to fire an arrow through a line of enemies. Yeah, but that took me years to... Oh, I get it. <laughs> we'll start small. I'll show you a pattern so tiny it'll feel like you're doing nothing. But it's the foundation of many great woven spells. I've been in instructions are easy to follow, but tough to repeat accurately more than twice in, in a row. You're getting it. You just need to relax and... A violent rumble in the ground silences him. His face grows concerned. Juno! He bolts towards the shaking woods faster than you imagined he could move. Dun dun dun! This might be a decent time for me to go to Twitter. Oh, I really want to watch. Do, do you know what just happened? Did she just die? Juno can no longer die? That's pretty fascinating. Alright, I'm going to read this in a second. I'm just going to post to Twitter before I, I forget to do that at all. Because that takes me like, what, 10 seconds? You can count if you're watching. That will do. Well, the, the tweets have been tweeted. Now we can read. You've been hunting me. Such arrogance. I consume what parts of this world I can, but your use of a power that is rightfully mine is no longer tolerable. A memory enters your mind. You've spoken with the serpent once before. You should not be here, so nothing is yours. False, I am created by a god to become a god. It is you who should no longer be here. Ser the serpent was created by a god to become a god. Uh, what? A mistake was made, and this is not your time. This is my only time. Because of you, everything shakes violently. P 
perhaps we want the same thing. Your schemes are insignificant. Would you humor a Nat's request? Besides, if you truly desire the same as me, release your grip on that which currently sustains you and allow you to destroy all that lives. To what end? To the end. Just as the world started, it must cease. All things have an end. And so must you. The others with me will find a way to stop you. The space shudders again. The others, could they be your end as well? You cannot control them all. You blink, and the serpent catches your hesitation. So, there is one you cannot control. He would be my salvation, but... Another shudders. I feel it too. We are both dying. No satisfaction in mutual destruction. Impatience hasn't done me. Frustrating to learn a solution too late. This, <laughs> this space shakes horribly one last time. And these sound effects are great. Vanek de Sam Jockel. The <laughs> serpent hisses before a flashing light. A terrible pain rips through both of you. Ivan? Is that you? The two of you shriek simultaneously and your vision dims. Who? What happened? Hush, you know you're safe now. I'll keep you safe. Ivan, did you? How did you do this? Save your questions. We should get away from here. Wait, did we just kill the thing? We just cut her out of the belly of the beast? Wow. Okay. Our morale should be way up. I feel like we lost a couple days there and I'm not sure why. Oh, it's not dead. Okay. Several humans and a few Varl wander out of the old wood to rejoin. Almost all look days, moving by a route rather than purpose. Not much different than you and a scant fuse left of the caravan. Ivor pulls you aside. Wow, this sounds really loud in my ear. Let's turn this down here and there. And hope that that's a good level for the recording. This is the weakest I've ever felt, Alette. We lost so many. I feel the same way. I couldn't do a damn thing to help. I've never seen the Vral like this. Or you've never seen the Vral like this. They're all scattered like roaches. I don't know if all the ones missing are dead or just lost. I couldn't tell if we were chasing that serpent or trying to get away from it. And the way Ivan threw lightning at it, I've never seen anything like that. And I've lived a long damn time. He m must have wounded that thing a hundred times before it stopped, then blasted open its side to save her. It was a pretty brave thing to do. Brave, stupid, I'm sure everyone here has a different opinion. <laughs> None of them really matter because it happened. We move on like we always do. You both look towards Juno and Ivan. With the little I've learned about spell, spell weaving, I don't think he's an ordinary mender. And Avalka being swallowed by a serpent and cutting out, cut out with lightning? It sounds like one of Vallejo's tales. How did she go through that? I don't know how any of us. He looks around. 
I guess not many of us did survive through it. The science of flowers becomes an unavoidable presence. When Juno stands from the cart carrying her, clansmen recall old prayers or pull their children behind them. She takes in frightened, and frightened stares with grace, but beckons to Ivan to join her away from the caravan. The two menders are given privacy, but out of fear more than respect, Ivor shakes his horned head. I'm not sure where all this is leading, but these clansmen, what's left of them, aren't doing so good. Um, I'll, I'll do this one. While you're doing that, Ivor says, I'll see what I can find out from the menders. You find a few family leaders and do your best to assure them that things will calm down. Waterfalls, Smash Town, Horseborn, and Giant Snakes, one father says, you've got no clue what's coming. The other shouts their agreement, but he calls them to be quiet. Neither do any of us, and that's the truth. So we stick to your banner, and the others lose the fight in their eyes and nod. Yay. Probably lost those there supplies from travel. Of recent fighting all around Fiskilik. But it might provide a meeting ground for all who scattered when the serpent struck. Yeah, we lost like half our fighters, half our Varl. That was quite a fight, I think. Days have passed since I've been pulled from Juno. Man, are these windows open or something? They keep shaking and stuff. I don't think they are. <clears throat> Days have passed since I've been pulled Juno from the serpent. Though the menders are mostly back to their normal selves, the clansmen continue to keep their distance. I'm worried about all the people we're missing. Scattering like in the old wood, I feel guilty. You can't prepare for a giant snake busting up your camp. But these people depend on me. I gave them my oath we would get to Arborang. Then keep going. From the moment you left Skroger, you knew everyone wouldn't make it. But the rest of you can. Besides, what else can you do? You'll stay alive as long as you do. These people are going to follow you. You keep saying you instead of we. Are you trying to tell me something? The giant for all size. Juno and, I, Juno and Ivan, they want me to join them. What? Join them where? They haven't filled me in on most of the plans, but they said I'm needed and that we're leaving the caravan. I need to talk to them about this. I never had a mother, and the way you're acting, I don't think I'd want one. You sigh. No doubt whatever they have planned will be dangerous, but sticking with you hasn't really been the safest route either. We're almost to Arboring. And then what? The human capital full of Vral and fearing war from the dredge? Do what you have to do, but that's no place for me. Before you can respond, Juno and Ivan arrive. Her hollow ap appearance catches you off guard. Ivor told you of our plans. What could he? What is this about? We're no longer good for the caravan. Our presence not only scares the clan zone, but it puts them in real danger. Beyond that, the serpent tank, serpent's attack has clarified our need to move quickly, something we cannot do with all of you. But this caravan needs the three of you. I need you to get these people to Arborang. That's not entirely true. We've been working on something Juno's learned about at Gredor's Godstone. That's right. Lend me your map. Confused, you hand your map to the Valka. She and Ivan hold it at corners while tracing patterns with spear and staff. The map glows... Uh, Faintly loose threads from her cloak and her tunic shake through the age material. The image pulses. It looks alive. How strange.
Can I click on things? Is this all the stuff that's been consumed by the darkness? It's coming out of Dungler's beard or whatever. This is our hometown right here. I think we were coming through the Borg and Horseborn lands earlier. I wanted to know more about um, this thing. Old fables say this small wooded village formed when one of the kings of men sat on a log here long after a day of hunting in the old wood. The king demanded a feast in the open woods that night, so eager he was to partake uh, of his hunting prizes. The festivities were so grand the next morning they decided to stay and build a town on the very spot. True or not, the name stands, so it's human. We're pretty much at Arboring. We just need to go through the, the last few areas here. Okay. So basically what this is showing is that like pretty much everything has been taken over by the darkness. There's a couple places left, but not much. The gods may be dead, but a few of their secrets remain. I've spoken about a darkness enshrouding the land, and now you bear witness to it on your map. The sky will soon reflect the truth shown here. Even the chasm, chasms opening across the land are displayed, but your path to Arborang is clear. Speed will be your ally now. With so few, you should be able to outpace whatever comes your way. I don't understand why you need Ivor. One arm brawl bring good luck. <laughs> you shake his head. Y you shake your head, but refuse to look at the varl. Ivor's strength and resolve will be necessary for us in the days ahead. S the same resolve you use daily, and will have hack on and the remaining varl with you for strength. I will have them for strength. nod your understanding. We realize this isn't easy for you. It's not easy for anyone now. Still, you could have made it seem a little harder to say goodbye. The giant frog gives you a fake frown. You and the rest of the caravan are needed in our brain. What well, will assault you there will require every bit of your wits and strength to survive. Can she see the future? And she looks pretty like pale. If it's just me I don't know I don't think she always looked that way and even then you'll perish if you do not succeed how will I know if you succeed you'll know because you'll still be alive now uh, you must go to the capital you must stay alive no matter what occurs hold out as long as you can until hold on until the darkness breaks she follows her, her words silence follows her words keep seeing a darkness but what is it Juno stares at you you concern about the darkness starts a to fade until Ivan touches your shoulder the darkness is a mistake a part of this world never meant for you or us or anybody alive today then why is it here because I Ivan that's enough the Valka looks at, at you and for a moment her hard eyes expressions crack her hard-eyed expression cracks. We're trying to do what we have to do. You notice her spear moving toward ever so slightly before your mind moves to other things. What can I expect in Arboring? I wish I could promise you nothing but safety, but Arboring will be a refuge for so many. Clans will fight for power the way they always have, even in the face of destruction. Remember, you are a Sunderslayer. Your reputation will help you a great deal. That doesn't really put me at ease. Just use what you've learned on this journey to keep the others alive. Prepare to leave. I should get the clan ready to head up the coast and west to Arborang. 
If you were anyone else, I'd stick around to help. But there's no one alive better suited to take care of these folk. You look at the giant for all who's been with you through so much. Till we see each other again, then? In some form or another, I imagine. The two of you smile. Before I go, I think it's time you became a lad again. Your hood might still serve you in a fight, but otherwise, pull it down. These people deserve it. Look at their leader in the eye. Thank you, Ever. You're probably right. Aw. So the next one, she's going to have her hood down, huh? Alette, I'm so proud of you. There's a, There are hidden patterns on your bow, which will only become clearer with practice. Take care. You as well, Ivan. Ivor and Ivan find a small fishing skiff. The once clear water of the Fishka Bay is now turning green and foul as the Vral hauls the vessel towards the receding tide. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the hardship that has become your life. Though it probably m means little to hear it from me, you've done a great work in making it this far. Continue to push for the capital with luck my small force will face and defeat the darkness before it reaches you i hope your efforts will not be in vain then i hope luck is with you as well take care of ivor the valka gives you a small smile before following the other two you turn to, to the caravan everyone on their feet we're pushing to arboring So many Varl lost there. So sad. A ways from the woodcutter camp where you found rest of the ravens, Falka joins you as you stare into the woods. Don't tell me you're fine with fine when you're not. You're still having those damn dreams. You growl, feeling less like talking than ever, but knowing the shield maiden won't let it drop. I keep seeing the dredge in different ways. We're eating together, then we're gone. Then they're gone. Once I was teaching them to fight, and they respected me. It's not me, but it feels like me. Falco watches you, listening closely. In the dreams, I feel old, ancient, strong, but the dredge disappear. I feel wet, sad, like an empty emptiness, loneliness. Well, I happen to know all about loneliness among company. When you don't laugh, she just shrugs it off. It's just strange that you're feeling kinship towards Dredge. Have you tried talking to that stone singer we picked up? That that would just get the Fane Vodka involved. <laughs> Except for uh, get involved regardless. If the map's right, we'll hit Old Fort and we'll be at Valka's Tower in Manhar soon. Sh she'll have plenty to say there. And besides, who else knows anything about that, that darkness about to swallow us? I don't trust Zephyr, but I'll talk to her. Good. You'll lose sleep. That puts us all in danger. You hold up your hand, sensing something in Miss Falka, and you both scan the trees. There. You point to an archer, loosing an arrow, her arrow, and dodge it, roaring a battle cry. OK. 
Okay. Let's do some combat. Kidding me? How am I supposed to do this with twelve attack? I could armor break and then almost kill this one just outright. Have her come in behind and help out. I don't like that spearman at all. How am I supposed to do this with just two dudes? Is it Sepha? Is it back? It'd be funny if it was her. What do these two specials do again? Counter attacks. Let's do that soon, but not yet. I should have used uh, what's his face this thing is special let's run her in here and we'll just hurt him get him weakened She's going to come in and armor break him, isn't she? Okay, good. That was for damage. So you're coming up. So are you. interested to see if I can get this bear rage to work properly. Probably block him off from getting in an attack on this guy and doing something to this guy who's coming up next. Let's do that, let's put her in there. He's coming up soon. Let's hurt him. Yeah, you have to do armor. Let's try Cole the Week and then, um, actually that won't work because he, he doesn't have any armor damage. Since he's coming up before my guy gets to attack again. Six would put him on three. Which means he'd he'd live but just barely, right? Nope, he got a crit. Okay, never mind. My character's critting when I don't want him to. Can you get to him? No, you can't. But you can get to him, I guess. Boost up his armor. She 
She's not coming up for a long time. He's only got one armor break, so if I take him down to low health, he'll probably flail. Let's make her practically useless. I could run in on him really quickly. Take him to freaking four defense. Top that would leave him with 13. So he would be still alive. Do I want to kill though? Let's get a kill. He's next, so we need to attack him. Absorbed. Is her stuff absorbed? I can't tell. So you're next. Followed by you, and then you. She's actually really hurting on her armor. I gotta be careful with her now. I can run her in to attack this dude. No, I can't. don't want Bulwark attacking her by accident, so I want to move her back and attack, or keep her here and attack. They're not even in rotation. Given how annoying that guy's move was to her, I might move her back and attack him. Just kill him.
think three is just regular strength damage, huh? So I need to spend two will willpower to keep him going. I'd rather not give him a turn early. Let's just take him down to that then. That worked okay. Did that really just happen? Okay, well I guess I lost this fight then. earlier. So that's going to need three points. You can't kill him. Kill them though. I'll get as many as I can here. take a minus two on this. I should have put one more point of willpower into that. <laughs> Curses. Oh, he's using his thing. gotten one more kill onto this potentially but no unfortunately not nah there's just too many left it gave me two characters to work with I may have been able to like kite them into a corner but I don't don't think I could have won this fight to be honest I could strip him down to nothing and then hope that the second attack lands on him what one in four, or I can take this. Yay, he got another kill there, at least. Cursed Raiders. At least I tried. Bulwark. I think I should have like tried to level him up before I uh, ended that last chapter, because I don't think he was at the max level he could have been at. A shame. <laughs> you pass out hearing distant battle chanting death, you awake, you nudge Volka who is thankfully still alive. 
<laughs> but camp, camp Spark tells you you escaped prisoners from Gular's attack. They were starving, more interested in food than fighting. He says before he died, one of them said they'd been left to rot at Galhar. All the townsfolk and guards gone to Arboring. Man, I can't believe we lost that fight. <laughs> we come back and we just die. It's okay, Bulwark. Your caravan's going to make it through this just fine. Falka Zepha is speaking quietly to Falka when you approach. Not forbidden, only rare for Valka to have children. So Nichols was like a son. He was not my child by birth. What did you do to him back in that cave? I did the only thing I could do, the thing we never want to do. Devaka's eyes fell with tears. I forced a skip in the pattern, which won't mean much to you. Suffice to say, manders usually repair skips or mistakes in the woven fabric of our world. They cover powerful, exposed threads until all is right and the pattern is whole. I just did the opposite. You stare at her blankly. By skipping Nichols, I exposed a thrand and used that power to end Ilus's attack. And that cost Nichols his life. Yes, but it is a sacrifice every mender is prepared to make, should it be necessary. How do I know you won't try to skip me when we get to Manahar? <laughs> because I can't. It is a conscious choice of a mender is taught how to make. Silence spans a few moments. A brave kid, then. The ravens will remember him in a ba battle chant. I'm sure he'd have liked that. We were... Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Any idea why Gelhar would abandon his prisoners? He's been out of contact with the cancel since I departed from Bindle, but he can't be good. If the prisoners were telling the truth about everyone fleeing Arboring, King Maynoth will have a serious problem to handle. I wonder if that girl Alette knows what she's headed for. Nope. They're not our concern. She, I'm concerned about Alette. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's get moving. Agreed. We need to get this cart to Manahar soon. We're not far from now. Alright, so... We got Gunolf here who wants to talk. Good old Gunolf is still alive. And he's in red now, no longer green. You find a roll near an empty barrel, staring at the darkness. He would be drunk if there was more mead for him. <laughs> what is it we're doing, Blood Axe? Oh, give me a second. I need to. Sorry, phone started ringing. I've switched rooms recently, so I guess that's to be expected. Things like this will happen every once in a while and change things up. Alright, so, I mean, honestly, what's the plan rattling around in your head of yours? Oh, it's Sigurd, not Renolf. I forgot, uh, Gunolf. They look exactly the same. I mean, honestly, with blah, 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 I just read that. Okay, no. Uh, Trying to keep us all alive. And you don't find that strange? A Varl berserk playing with Den Mother to a bunch of humans? You get in Sigurd's face with a deep growl. Maybe you've outlived your welcome here. Save your show strength for one of your pups here who might actually be intimidated. You grab the warhawk by a horn and punch him in the gut. He doubles over, coughing. Oh, what? Are we gotta fight him now? <laughs> the red-headed Varl grunts, throwing up a punch that catches you in the chin. While you recover, the ravens all gather around, some daring to cheer. Falka watches with interest. Hurl a barrel at... 
The barrel's a good weight in your hand and moves quickly through the air, shattering against your grunt's face, spilling salted fish on the ground. Before he can recover, you lay into him with heavy hits, punching him in the face, stomach, until he falls. <laughs> the fallen giant spits out a tooth. Whatever point you're trying to make, you've made it. You walk away from the cheering of ravens, feeling good. Yay. Oh, we only got a couple days of supplies. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown the supplies at his face. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> I had a good time doing it. That's a really good piece of equipment there. Do I spend some of this renown? Some of the very little renown I have on items? There's some actually decent items here. The 10 and the 7. There's no one near 10 in this caravan, though. I'd have to focus like all of my re remaining renown onto one character to get them there. I got a 10, a 6... Five and a four that I like to use. And they've gone and gotten themselves nice and injured right at the beginning of a uh, a new chapter. And like, what are they thinking? We're gonna need them. Bulwark was one rank higher. He would have been so much more useful in that last fight. If I don't get that item, I'm definitely going to regret it. Let's level up the main guy. I think I need him to be high level. that or I rank up Ditch and I actually try and use him. He's really hard to use. I want to keep ranking up Ollie and Krumar if I can. Ollie's pretty cool. promote him. Just lots of willpower. Oh, and he gets to choose a second ability. I can have him stonewall. Well, 
Well, that means I have to upgrade him. That's my best choice. It's just what do I want to choose? Run through is nice. It's useful. Bloody Flail is pretty good, especially if he gets low on health. So is Stonewall. I think Bloody Flail would work well with the rest of the people in this group. But I'm a giant fan of Stonewall. Yeah, let's, let's take Stonewall here. That's my alarm for the hour. Give him a point of willpower here. Giving him extra linkage, he can run into um, into people's line of sight. For now, you get more willpower. yeah since it's been an hour i'm gonna end this youtube episode here if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i've got links to the social media in the description below see you around for the next one